man, you are now back. RTTV, dang, baby. Dang, dang. Yes, sir. And if it's your first time here, definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash. smash. That subscribe button, man. And if you didn't know, we got a Patreon with early and full reaction. Not only Brooklyn Nine-Nine, we got One Piece, Naruto, and a lot more. And a yearly subscription gets you a month for free. Join that Patreon family, baby. And you could check us out exclusively on Spotify, Podcast, and Anchor for all new content that we talk a lot of craziness. You got to pull up and see. Subscribe on Spotify right now, RTTV. And make sure you give this video a like and have that notification bell ringing for that Brooklyn Nine-Nine playlist. And make sure you follow us on Twitch, RTTV5, where we react to some of your favorite movies, TV shows, and play some of your favorite video games. So follow and subscribe. We're Brooklyn at! What? We're Brooklyn at! What? We're Brooklyn, 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 Brooklyn! Nine-Nine. Yo, we back with another Brooklyn Nine Nine. As you can see, we have some new microphones for the yeah. for the setup right now. We got a whole new setup right here in general, actually. Brooklyn we got the Nine-Nine. Brooklyn Nine Nine mug. In case y'all was wondering where we repping Brooklyn Nine Nine, but on the last episode, man, they went they went camping. My boy Bo- uh, Boyle, Jake, and Terry all went camping while Rosa was ending one of my favorite relationships in this show. It's not my favorite, but it's one of my boy Nick Cannon got dumped and they cried together. Cannon. Damn, yo, but at least Jake and Amy still together. So let's get into it, man. Season 3, Episode 7, The Mattress. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, he nasty for that. Memes, you're two minutes late. I called all the emergency rooms. So tired that I fell asleep while shaving my leg. I was up all night because your dumb lumpy mattress is so uncomfortable. What? But I gave you the good luck. Oh, please. <laughs> I just discovered a new drug too. It's called your relationship and I'm high on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one. Now go sell your candy to everyone else, stupid. Hey, 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 you can't call a kid stupid. What if he's really stupid? I think it's funny what you call me stupid. No one cares, stupid. Screw you, Rosa. Screw you, Rosa. <laughs> Drug dealers have gotten so creative. It used to just be crack. They'd be like, hey, we got a new one. What are we going to call this? And they'd go, I don't know, crank? So we were kind of hoping we could work the case together. Oh, are you two no longer... Smushing booties. Yes, that's exactly how it's going to take Just don't let any personal issues distract you from your work. We've never even had a fight. How am I supposed to... Oh, oh that's nice. nice. <laughs> Captain, get ready to join in the hub zone. No. Uh, this is hard. Hi, Joe Gertie to work this morning, huh, Captain? Oh, yes, Kevin and I finally brought her up from the country. You approach on foot from the south, and me and Devin will be in an unmarked car here. Didn't you mean Devin and I? Oh, God. I corrected your grammar. I'm exhausted because you refuse to get a new mattress. All right, why don't you just get a new back? We're not fighting. We can totally work together. We're fine. Mm. Oh, I'm honest. Okay, okay. Point is, we're good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is not going to go good. Hey, there's my bill. Oh, Ray Lewis, right on the mattress. This mattress looks just like your mattress at home. That's what the mattress looks. Sure, there are a couple of similarities, but we're going mattress shopping. Oh, oh, this is the best. Once we get it, we'll have to break it in. Ow! Mattress trampoline! Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> Mattress trampoline! <laughs> okay. Prince Sam's here. Nice. That little dumb dumb finishes homework. He got arrested? Where is he? Uh, Sam was brought in for shoplifting a phone. What were you thinking? I made a mistake. The phones were just lying there and I didn't think things through. We're dealing with Detective Diaz now, but she is going to make sure you rot in juvie for the rest of your life. Tough <laughs> <laughs> for a phone? <laughs> He's just a car. He's not gonna be that mad. Son of a bitch! Okay, I misjudged that. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> you dirty, dirty. Pretty far over the line. So, kind of your fault, too. Yeah, Charles! The buffoonery is endless. Custom mix the color because they no longer make raspberry shirts. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm bugging the eye. Oh, it rolls up the eye. Wow. I love this mattress. And it loves having you in it. God? It's <laughs> God. Fully <laughs> 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 much too much money. 
well, to me, it sounds like you're saying I'm not worth it. Whoa. So I'm going to go see no, my right. grown-up I mean, mattress right. that I bought this century. And like she's basically saying, I like, I like, mm-hmm. feel mad and comfortable sleeping in your bed. Like, yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah, it's just like, uh, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I want you two to go undercover as a couple to stake out the room. You should be very convincing given that you're currently, uh, what was it, um, smooshing boobies. Oh, I just beg for mercy. It's my signature move. No mercy. Charles. The captain is being irrational. <laughs> He's about to learn uh, himself a lesson. Oh, my! And how did you do to my cupcake? Why on earth is your cupcake on my chair? Because uh. it's very special to me, so I can put it wherever I want. Oh, oh. teach you a lesson. Teach him a lesson, Gina. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. The chair was the parking space. Yes, I get it. Your office was the garage. Yes, I'm telling you, I understand. <laughs> I understand. If he's so that smart, that's my scenario. baby. That Why don't you just sit down? No, thank you. I can see the feed better from here. It's really comfortable. Nope, my butt hates expensive things. <laughs> you know what your butt hates? Making any sort of sacrifice for us because Ooh. it's not serious about this relationship. Ooh. Okay, first of all, they're gonna miss her. I'm not even taking this argument seriously. All right, you want to get serious? How come you haven't told your mom that we're dating? Oh. You read my text? It buzzed when you were in the bathroom. Who doesn't bring their phone with them into the bathroom? That's like the whole reason to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> I do be heated when I don't bring it in there. Look at the screen. Oh no, the feed. Oh, oh. oh they in trouble. Oh, Who characterize it more as a professional police disagreement? I listen to the tape. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, well, then you know that it was a <laughs> favorite. Uh. I know we screwed up the case. When Kevin and I first started dating, he taught at a small college upstate. It was two hours away by train or bus, but only 30 minutes by car. So visits were rare, and I was miserable. Then one spring day, Kevin showed up at my door. Having purchased Gertie. Mm-hmm. Go buy the mattress, man. 100%. Go find it some mattress. The car's in the mattress. I got it. Kevin is you. Mm-hmm. I'm so good. <laughs> See, the thing about this mirror was she made me a good dancer, but she ruined my childhood. She's the reason I quit ballet. And I sure as hell don't want to say I'm with a big brother program because of me. Mm. This is totally how I thought this Miss Miriam thing was going <laughs> Yeah, Terry. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's Terry Black. You don't owe me anything. I don't want to change mattresses for you. <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry I didn't do it sooner. You're Orangina and I'm Orange Soda. Are you kidding? You're Orangina? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call my mom tonight. Beautiful. Beautiful. Watch the relationship baby. Big romantic gesture, and I'm nailing it. Shipping address, not the same as billing. <laughs> she already bought him one. Jake. Yeah, we'll do this later. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were on this side. Go again. It's Jake Peralta. Jake Peralta doesn't miss out. Well, technically he did. Nah, but like he the fucked up with time, the first time, situation. First time he'll mess up, but the second time he's gonna bounce back crazy. Um, he bounced back like 23. You know about. Thing or two about that Orangina, Terry. Absolutely not. I have no idea what Orangina is. Sure you do. Yeah, we all know about Orangina. We ain't good, talking about a drink. A good life, Jerry. But okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really like yo. Well, as you pointed out something earlier, what? it made me think like I really like how. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yo, Dwan loves the fact we got mics down. He was like, "What?" Uh, <laughs> yo, you said. um um, what you would call it, kind of like the play on scenes when Gina did the thing with the captain where it's like, yeah, the cupcake is you. You're the cupcake. The parking space is your uh, your office, so on and so forth. And he did the same thing with Jake. It, re- it really makes me appreciate the writing because they tend to bring like comedy like in different areas throughout the show. Like We see different relationships with each character. Like with Rose and the captain, how the last episode when they were crying together and they were really, really, they're always really serious when they're talking to each other and there's no homer. No humor. No humor or emotion oh, okay. shown within their um, conversations. The relationship that um, Rosa has with Terry is different, and everybody's relationships are different, so on and so forth. So, can really appreciate. I really appreciate the writing in this show. Um, baby, it's like they feed off of each other. Like, yeah. I do rock with that. It's like I like the fact that like 
in the same episode, we seen Holt take what he learned from Gina and applied it to Jake, and then with Jake, it helped his situation out. So you can see how, like, everybody just fuels everybody else's, like, friendships or relationships and stuff like that. And shout out to Holt. My nigga be really noticing he be bugging out, and Gina's always a person there to, like, check him. Gina, okay. Gina's smart. That's the thing that you guys gotta understand. Gina is probably the one that keeps the whole precinct together. She is very clever, and I think you have to put yourself in people's shoes, and I think that's what she did. It'll be like, yo, you don't get how, um, what's his name, uh, Boyle feels. Boom, let me do it to you, mm-hmm. and then vice versa, and I think that's a great way of looking at things. And I also like how, like, I never, um, they made me look at, this is the first time I feel like I really seen a aspect of the work field at um, being a police officer, because I never seen why they probably be like, yo, couples can't you can't date somebody mm-hmm. at work but this episode made me realize like yeah that could happen imagine yeah with your girl yeah. on a heist and yeah i really get into a personal argument and then boom the case so it was like it's good seeing that it just gives you another element of oh how that could be dangerous and i like that i also like the fact that like back to Derry's point when he was talking about like um he was talking about Dina and, and captain hope I feel, I feel like, like in, in a, a in a normal, normal workplace, like you shouldn't question the boss. The boss is like, this is the kind of case. Like mm-hmm. this is the example. Like you're not supposed to question the boss. He's the smartest one. He's the one with the degree. Blah blah blah. blah. You know what I'm saying? But I like, I like how like the secretary is just as smart. You know what I'm saying? They don't treat her just like the separate secretary. Boyle goes to her for advice. A lot of people go to Gina for advice. That's my baby. Yeah, they don't depend on rank um or where people stand in the the. The hierarchy, the hierarchy of the workplace, you know what I'm saying? saying? They kind of just go like, yo, I like how she, I like who she is. I like the kind of advice she gives me, and um, I like how she, the how boy, uh, Hope was able to learn from Gina, and then also pass that information on to um, Jake. Jake, yeah, exactly. Yo, if you love her, get her a new mattress, cause nobody want to have a bad back, cause how they sleeping. That shit is trash. Mm-hmm. Make sure y'all do that. And I like the lessons that they take from everything. Like, my boy Jake was like, yo, it's not even the mattress. Like, it's more of the, like, knowing that I care enough to make sure she feels comfortable. So, shout out to my boy Jake for that, man. He kept his girl. I was scared they were going to have a real issue this episode. So, I'm happy it ended on a, on a high note. But if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash. smash. That subscribe button, man. I go by the name of DC. Follow me on Instagram, DCZ underscore World RT. Patrick RT, baby. Get that mattress. Yo, it's a man, the maniac, Wilkinson is score RT, and if she's worth it, well, yeah, and if she's worth it, always let her know that you care. It's so well not possible. It's your boy, Rob. It's your boy, Wells, the myth, the anime king, because Jerry just said the oh. man, the maniac, so I'm the myth now. No, <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no. Follow me at Wells and the score RT. The Greek anime god. No, I really can't stand you. <laughs> and that settles it at the, the round table. table.